in London that London was picked for the 2012 Olympics. They're bringing it home to the belly of the beast. The city of London is not part of England. It's not part of anything. It's what rules the planet at this particular time at the behest of the Vatican. Now take a very close look at these particular sigils. There is the Olympic symbol. There is the London uh, uh, nomenclature. Shift the symbols around and what do you get? <laughs> Kabbalah is in the house. Kabbalah is in the house, but that that's nothing. Aryan nation. This is your Olympics. What are they telling us? Get ready. No, there's no there's no Zionists, there's no Nazis, they're all one. The Zionists work for the Nazis. The Zionists are Nazis. Different parts of the planet they're working on from. Switch it around again and what do you get? The same symbol that you saw on the flag. This is the symbol for the new, and they're going to be marching with it. You're going to be there absorbing the sigil, because remember, a sigil translates a thousand words. And they do ritual over these sigils before they put them out to the public. And you all laugh at us when we do our comedic li uh, li rituals. Christians say, well, that's just heathenism. Well, why are they ruling the world with heathenism? They got the world now doing heathenism. But they got you doing Christianity. <laughs> and you all got everything, right? <clears throat> but then it even gets better. Because they have taken the next game. And there you have it. What's that? Anybody know? The SS. The SS. The SS. Hitler's elite. Right. Schufstasso. The Schufstasso. <laughs> the Schufstasso. This is the symbol for the Olympics. Remember, the whole world watches the Olympics. <laughs> Take a look. Two of them is the Schufstasso, which is the SS. But... Do you know what one of them means? <laughs> this is the symbol of the Hitler Youth. Oh, that's right. Yeah. The new youth, yeah. I had it, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's a good little boot. <laughs> hmm? This is the flag of the Hitler Youth. Now I want you to look at this simply because I want you to see what color they're using as the crown. For people who are not versed in the comedic sciences, they don't know what that means. They don't even understand what the wings mean. But they got you with the cross. They don't understand what the serpent means next to the hat. But what you're looking at is a commission symbol disassembled. Okay. But they're using your sigils to empower themselves. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because I want you to see in your mind where the war is taking place in the very everyday symbols that you're working with. Symbols that you don't even think about twice. You look at it on the commercials, you say, oh, okay, that's for Volvo. Oh, okay, that's for um, Chrysler. Always remember what the sword means. 
What's the sword mean? Justice. And it is supported by the wings, which mean? Ma'at. But then the red crown, that's where we're going to start getting into it later on. What that means and what this red crown has to do with the disappearances of the bee. Start to put the little pieces of the puzzle together. I'm just good in the bundes. This, I win. <laughs> and I dug out from an old book. Tracing down where all these little symbols of the Hitler Youth, even they got a little, little drummer boy with the Hitler Youth on there. Now, I'm going to ask you, where have you seen this symbol before? H and R Block, come on. Gatorade. Gatorade, come on. Shazam, Shazam. come on. Flash. Flash, come on. That's right. See, y'all know. Everybody knows. But hey, that's your old generation. The young one don't know about no damn flash no more. <laughs> they gotta go after the younger generation. So where do we see that? We find out that the name is from the elder Futhrak, Germanic. The oldest version of the ruin, runic alphabet. When you look at it, it says what? Say the word. Say it again. Say it again. No. Elongate the E. And close your mouth. Awas. Awas. Oh man, here we go. Oh, <laughs> Does anybody know who Awas is? Alistair Crowley. Alistair Crowley. Alistair Crowley. The 666 beast. And he will come up later in our little journey towards the understanding of hyperdimensional warfare. So, the symbol Awas or you comes out to be None other than Awas, created by Crowley, who Crowley states is actually Heru. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> Awas comes to visit him while he is in Morocco somewhere. And this is what he said was sitting in the corner <coughs> talking to him. Oh, oh damn. Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> mm hmm. Coming to you now, right? The definition of you, Y-E-W, any of the several evergreen trees or shrubs of the genus Taxus, of which the flat, dark green needles and often the scarlet berries, red, are poisonous. The durable, fine grain wood of an old species, T. baccata. Used in cabinet making and for what? Archery bows. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the next yes. use of the symbol for the Hitler Youth. And they put it right on that little bastard's head. Go see Harry Potter, and what's the name of the new one? The Order of the Phoenix. Oh, we just getting started. I hope y'all dug in a little bit. We're gonna be here a little bit. It's gonna start unfolding where the war is taking place. Right here. And this symbol right here is about where it is it's dealing, right there on your temple lobe. We have you. It's so bad that we look at him 